What's up YouTube, Regitech here, and today we're going to be installing and reviewing the Spigen Glass Slim Premium Tempered Glass Screen Protector for the iPhone 8 Plus. So here we have the Spigen Tempered Glass, and as you can see it does say that it is 9H, and it is extreme durability and the perfect grip for your phone. And it has rounded borders that support the anti-chip, so if your phone ever falls, your screen protector won't chip, and as well as your screen won't chip. And as you can see, it does say state of the art original technology. And coming around back, it does show you a bunch of information about this screen protector. That it is whole transparency, which means it is crystal clear. That it is oleophobic, that it has an oleophobic coating, which means it doesn't uh, keep oil residue from your fingers. That it is made of real glass. That it is does have a perfect adhesion from silicone that it is 9H surface hardness, and that it's delicate to the touch, which means your 3D functions will work. So let's go ahead and open this box up, see what we get inside it, and let's install the screen protector. So now on to the things that we get inside this box. So the first thing you'll see is the dust removal stickers, the microfiber cloth, as well as some cleaning cloths. The next thing you'll see is the Spigen installation manual right here and it does tell you good techniques on how to install the screen protector next up you'll get a little uh, index card that says if there's any product with any problem with the product that uh, gives Spigen an uh, email or a call and they'll be able to assist you with that and finally you do get the two glass screen protectors that are included in this box so let's go ahead and take one of these screen protectors out just to check out how it looks and as you can see, even with the film on the screen protector, that you can see that the screen protector is crystal clear and has no uh, tints or anything to it. So when you put this on the screen, you'll have no issues with any colors or anything like that. So let's go ahead and start the install process. So the first step that we're going to want to go ahead and take is to open up that little packet that has the dust removal stickers, the microfiber cloth, and the cleaning cloths. So because this iPhone is brand new and I've probably only touched the edges of the screen, I'm just going to be using the microfiber cloth to clean it off. And I'm not going to be using the alcohol wipes or the dust removal stickers. And once you've done that, what I like to do is to take a can of compressed air and just blow the screen a little bit so that any excessive dust that may have been on there will get blown right off. And then once you do that, you're just going to want to make sure that your hands are clean and oil free. And then you're going to want to start the installation process. So to do the installation process, you're just going to want to go ahead and peel off the backside adhesive that is labeled on the screen protector as back with the tab so we're just going to peel that off and then we're going to want to line it up with the cutouts on the screen the sensor as well as the earphone jack and make sure that it is lined up with the home button down at the bottom and once you feel like you've gotten it perfectly lined up you're just going to want to let it go and let it do its thing and just like that you'll see a perfect installation happen now once you make sure that you have no dust on your screen or that there is no fingerprints or anything that's the perfect way to make sure that a perfect install happens and in the event that you do get an off the border um, application you can just go ahead and pick it up and just adjust it the way you want it. And once you've laid down the screen protector you're going to want to go ahead and take off the top layer film. And once you do that you're going to want to just inspect your screen protector and make sure that it is perfectly aligned with the screen and that it's not overlapping any borders or off centered from the screen itself. And that you have enough space for the earphone piece um, cut out as well as the sensor up at the top. Now this screen protector is made to be a case friendly screen protector and that's why it has so much of the edge left off 
which is a good thing when using a screen protector uh, with a case because you want to make sure that the case does um, give that added protection to the borders of the phone. So next thing that we're going to go ahead and do is just look at the thickness of the screen protector. Because it is tempered glass, it is going to be a little thick and raised off the screen. So now we're just going to go ahead and turn on this iPhone and just see if the colors are any different. And as the iPhone's turning on, you see no color discoloration from having the screen protector on here. The same colors that you would normally see without the screen protector are the same colors that you see right now. So as you can see, I have not set up this iPhone yet, but there is no discoloration whatsoever with having the screen protector on here. Everything looks just about the same, and there is also no, um, there is no lag with your touch feature. So as you touch the phone, exactly how you touch it is how it moves, which means that this screen protector does allow for perfect touch and it doesn't affect uh, your touch on the screen. So now we're going to go ahead and try this screen protector out with a couple of cases. The cases that I reviewed in the previous video, just to see how everything fits and if they are compatible with this screen protector. So the first case that we're going to go ahead and try out is the Spigen Ultra Hybrid S series case. So here I have this Spigen Ultra Hybrid S series case, the crystal clear one with the kickstand applied and there is no obstructions with this screen protector. As you can see the screen protector actually does still have a little bit of space there to work with the case. And I do think that that's a little too much space for my taste, but it is a good amount of protection for this tempered glass screen protector with a case coupled with it. <clears throat> So we're going to go ahead and go on to the next case. And here we have the Caseology Skyfall series case on with this screen protector. And as you can see, this also has no obstructions with the screen protector. And this case's bezel is very minimalistic, so it could also be used with a full body screen protector, which I'm going to be featuring as the next screen protector for this phone. So stay tuned for that. <clears throat> So let's go ahead and take a look at the next case. And the next and final case is the Zizo Static Series um, military grade case. And as you can see, this case also does fit with the screen protector without any obstructions. So there is still a lot of space in between the screen protector and the case's bezel, which is a great thing. <clears throat> so all in all, I think that this screen protector is a really nice screen protector for the iPhone 8 Plus. I'm not really usually a big fan of tempered glass, but this is a really nice tempered glass because it does still allow the touch features for the phone to work perfectly fine without any lag or any um, unresponsiveness, which is a great feature. And <clears throat> I will be posting a link for this screen uh, for the screen protector down in the description box below if you guys want to check it out I do suggest it it is a very nice screen protector if you're interested in tempered glass and I will be also be posting links to each of these cases down in the description box below as well as my review video for each one of these cases so if you guys like what you saw please go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button down below and don't forget once I hit that 500 subscriber mark I I will start to do giveaways. I will do giveaways of screen protectors as well as cases and other devices as well. So if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe now. And don't forget to follow Regitech on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Thank you guys and until next time.